Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate the here maps and the uh, navigation here on the Nokia Lumia 520. This is an AT&T Go phone with no contract. That means this is a pay-as-you-go phone. I don't have this hooked up to any service. I never activated the SIM card or anything. So I'm, I'm strictly using this as an internet device, but I wanted to show you how powerful the map navigation is on this phone uh, without paying for any kind of service. It's, uh, it works offline, and um, let's get started. Okay, when you're here on the desktop on your phone, um, you can click on this here maps, and it'll open up, and then it should show you a location of where you are on the map. Again, I don't have this phone connected to any type of uh, 4G network or anything. It's just strictly connected to Wi-Fi right now. And... Um, you can see that uh, the map is active here but um, to use the navigation we have to use a different program let me hit the back button here the navigation is on this one but let me show you what happens I don't have a sim card attached to this and then what happens is that um, if you try to launch that program the navigation program it says no sim card are found so I'm going to tap out of this and then go ahead and install the SIM card. Okay, this is the SIM card that came with my Go phone. And I'm going to go ahead and, and punch out the actual card here and, and slip it into the Lumia 520. Okay, first we need to pop out the battery and then go ahead and insert the SIM card. Okay, now we're back. Let's do the here navigation app again and see what happens when we launch it. Hopefully I won't get that SIM error again. Okay, this looks better. Um, so these are just some terms and conditions and I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. This one's actually called here drive, not here navigations. So let's just go ahead and hit continue. It says if you have a Nokia account you can sign up for one, but I'm just going to skip that. Now we get to choose a voice for the navigation. This is the uh, voice that you hear as you're driving around and it tells you where to turn and how far to go and, and all that. I'm just going to go ahead and hit download using um, the English default. And now it's telling me if I want to use offline maps, I can go ahead and download maps now. And I know I've done this with my other phone, so I'm just going to go ahead and download my maps now. And it's going to take a minute for it to, to uh, show us the list. Oh, actually, we have to hit this plus button. We'll choose North America. USA. Find my state. There it is, Washington. And now this is just to confirm that you want to download the map. I'm going to go ahead and click download. And the reason why I'm downloading this map is because um, it it downloads the map information into the phone and uh, allows me to use offline navigation while I'm driving around. There's no need for a data connection or anything like that. So. Um, I'll be able to use this on the go. I've tested it before and um, it actually works pretty good. Now we have to wait for this map to download. It's going to take a little bit um, depending on your Wi-Fi connection, but uh, when it's done, we'll take a look. Okay, now it's downloaded. It's 134 megabytes for, for Washington State. So let's go ahead and try out the navigation program. I'm going to hit the back button now, get back into the program. Okay, now we're back in the offline maps uh, download section. I'm going to skip this and hit the next button. And this thing called My Commute, I haven't tried this yet, but um, I'll see what it does later. I'm going to hit finish for now. Okay, now it says it's looking for GPS. GPS. 
Sorry, I got so much reflection on here. This screen is pretty shiny. I think what's happening here is it's still looking for the GPS signal. Uh, I might be in a room that's uh, too shielded or something. The walls are too thick here, so I'm going to have to try it outside in the car. Okay, so now I'm here in my car. I'm going to go ahead and try the navigation here on my phone with the Here Drive app. So let's go ahead and launch that. It takes a few seconds to launch there. And we can see that the GPS has located where I am at. And I'm just going to do a quick test here and uh, show you how the turn by turn directions work on this. So I'm going to tap on set destination and um, I'm going to use um, this Krispy Kreme location. I already typed it in earlier. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on that. And it says, sorry, we can't reach the network. Please check the connection and try again. I'm going to tap on this button that says search offline because I'm not connected to the internet. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And it shows me a bunch of uh, the Krispy Kreme locations near me. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on the top one. And we'll get ready to hit the road and um, see if we can find this Krispy Kreme. Okay, I've got my phone secured and my camera secured so that I can drive and uh, be recording. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. The uh, Krispy Kreme location is only about half a mile away. Uh, I just want to do a quick demonstration so I don't have to drive too far. But um, I've got this hooked up to my car stereo so you can hear the voice navigation on here as we go. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. After 250 yards, turn right onto North 125th Street. So I intentionally made a wrong turn to show you that the GPS can recalculate a new route if I make a wrong turn. Route recalculation. Now turn right. After a quarter of a mile, turn right onto North 125th Street. Every once in a while you'll see a Wi-Fi signal pop up when it detects a new Wi-Fi signal in the area. After 200 yards, turn right onto North 125th Street. Now turn right. If you've used an iPhone before, I'd say that the voice on the Nokia 520 sounds pretty close to what Siri sounds like as far as the voice goes. After 600 yards, turn left. I know we're getting close to our location. Let's keep listening to the navigation. After 300 yards, turn left. Now turn left. Now turn right and then you will reach your destination. Okay, so here we are. We're at the Krispy Kreme location. And we found it no problem with the map. You've reached your destination. 
Okay, so there you have it. It was pretty good and detailed as far as the directions go, and uh, I made it to the Krispy Kreme, no problem. I think this is a pretty nifty feature on this Nokia Lumia 520, and it's because I was able to download the map of Washington here into my phone that I was able to use this uh, GPS offline and get to my location. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.